Hell yeah. What's going on, people? My name's Jack. Happy fucking new year. Hell yeah. 2021. Doing it big, not doing it small. I've taken like a whole month off YouTube pretty much. In December, it was embarrassing. I uploaded two videos. I went back to the countryside, spent a bunch of time with the family and sort of just enjoyed a little bit of time off. Not gonna lie. Don't really take that much time off. So it was a bit nice. Um, today, these five, that's 10. These five sites will make you money. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna break down five different websites, kick off this year, give you guys a couple of ideas of places I've been able to generate large amounts of money. I've made nearly hundred grand on one of the websites I'm gonna tell you guys about. Um, I haven't done the calculations, could be over 100 grand, I don't know. Um, also, I have friends making very nice, consistent money on some of these sites. And it's one of these sites is perfect for some really nice passive income opportunities as a video creator as well. However, these sites are going to be usable to anybody in the creative industry. If you're in graphic design, video editing, even web design, stuff like that, you could sort of take these methods and twist them in your own way. But I'm going to be catering towards my video creators as that is what I am and it's what I have firsthand experience with. So without further ado, we're going to be jumping into it. I'm going to be talking about Facebook, Upwork, Twitter, Gmail slash YouTube, and a very special bonus one at the end, which is the passive income one. So make sure to stick around for that. Um, without further ado, let's get into it. Link in description for paid Lancer merch. You can go ahead and grab it. If you buy the merch, it does not include the lapel mic. I'm sorry, that's separate. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So number one, Facebook. So if you guys haven't followed the channel for a while, I had an extensive few year career as a live event videographer. This was my main sort of hustle for a while. I would go to nightclubs. I would film for a promoter. I'd document their night. I'd make like a nice one to two minute after movie, uh, you know, sort of highlighting the night. And I'd give that back to the promoter. They'd obviously pay me for that service. And then they'd release that as promotion, right? Standard event, you know, live event videography sort of situation. And I got all these clients, or at least I started the sort of the train of getting all these clients using Facebook. And I'll break down exactly how I did it. I'll make this one short because it might not be applicable to everybody. But um, also this does not work during coronavirus. There were no events. But after coronavirus, you could use this. So go to Facebook, type in events near me, filter it to latest, and you can actually find a massive list of uh, Facebook events that are going on near you. Click on the event page, message the host. It'll be pretty obvious. Go ahead and say, hey, what's up? I'm a live event videographer. I want to come through. Or maybe you're a graphic designer. Hey, what's up? I design posters for live events. You know you know what I mean? Type of thing like that. Like I said, I'm catering this entire video to all of the creative um, sectors, if you will. Obviously, for me, it's just video production. Um, but yeah, I literally built my first full-time videography income through this method. Facebook.com, go to the search result, and literally just uh, messaging promoters who were hosting Facebook events, right, um, on Facebook. And basically, I could then go to the event, film 50-plus live event venues, nightclubs, all that type of stuff, been basically everywhere. In fact, I mean, I was in the club filming events before I was even 18. I was in there with the fake ID. Uh, <laughs> Gotta be done. Um, website number two, I've made over 75,000 pounds off of this website right here, probably more. 75 is a guaranteed amount. I don't know how much over, uh, you know, it is. I haven't gone through transaction by transaction. I don't even fucking have time to do my taxes, let alone, I do have time to do my taxes. I gotta send the tax man six grand in three weeks. Game's a game. But I'm just gonna estimate I've made easily over 75K from Upwork. Literally just a job board. It's just two different types of people there. Freelancers, you and I clients. So basically all the clients are just posting a job. Oh, I have this video that he's edited. Oh, I have this website that he's designing. Oh, this poster. <laughs> They're looking for you and I. Um, so we can go there and we can type in our specific uh, skill or our, 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 you know, category. For me, I'd type in video editing or even YouTube video editing. For a while, that was my main hustle. I could make a very good case that I was a great YouTube video editor based on the fact that I had a fully functioning YouTube channel with pretty impressive numbers. Um, get in where you, get where you fit in. There's a little bit of a, of a message in that, right? Niching down can help. Like this was my full-time thing. I was making thousands and thousands a month. In fact, that made me much more than the film and events. I'm not going to lie. Like the events was a nice little consistent thing for me. The remote freelance video editing for clients on Upwork, by far the, the, the biggest income stream I had. Um, when I started in the video production game, when I was 18, this was my full-time thing. That took me to about 21 when I moved to London. Now I've been a little bit more of a different type of path for the past year and a half. Um, and now I'm fucking 22, right? Um, awesome. Facebook Upwork, both bangers. Number three, Twitter. Great for anybody starting out. In fact, I got people who aren't starting out who've been in the game for years who still get clients like this. Twitter has a phenomenal feature where you can sort of 
find a whole bunch of people that are asking the world for something, right? So for example, if you go to Twitter and you type in, I need a video editor or I need a graphic designer, just that phrase into the search result and then enter and filter it to latest, you're gonna get a whole bunch of people in real time. It'll say like five minutes ago, eight minutes ago, nine hours ago, and they're like, hey Twitter, can anyone recommend me a good video editor? I'm really looking to create more content this year. Or hey guys, I'm really looking to get a rebrand on my channel, I need a banner. And they're asking Twitter to recommend them. If you search for this phrase, um, basically you find all these people and you can then send them a DM or a, uh, a you know reply to their, their tweet or whatever the case may be and then start making the case that you're the person that should do that work for them. Banger, I know people making great money from this. Um, next up, my good friend Oscar B, AKA Oscar Brune, he runs a video editing agency, makes decent money off this video editing agency and employs quite a few people. And he gets all the clients for that video editing agency through this next method I'm gonna tell you about. Um, it is Gmail and YouTube put together. Now this specific method is for targeting YouTubers, ideally, right? So what you can do is on YouTube, um, you can actually go ahead and, you know, find a channel. Say you find a channel that's got like, you know, 90K, they're sort of, they're uploading, you know, a couple times a week or whatever. You're like, you know what? If I was editing, these people could be uploading four videos a week or whatever, right? Whatever your scenario is that you see like, oh, these guys could use a video editor or a graphic designer or whatever, right? You can actually go to their about section. Every single YouTuber has an email in the about section. It's how brands contact us for us to do brand deals and stuff. So we're incentivized to clearly lay out a contact email in our about section. I speak from experience. I have a relatively big YouTube channel. The contact email is there. Wait, I think it's in my description as well. It's like, oh yeah, message me for brand deals. I'm trying to make some money, people. The game's a game, all right? <laughs> all YouTubers are, all right? So the email is right there. Um, and basically what you could go ahead and do is you can find that email and you literally just start emailing YouTubers. The great thing about this is it's cold emails. So you get yourself a nice template down or whatever, something you could customize to people's liking or a nice sort of format of email. You could just boom, 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 boom. Send them out there like a, like a madman, right? So you could, uh, madman, man, wo mad woman, whatever. You could just get them out there basically like crazy. You could just start submitting, submitting, submitting. My good friend Oscar has plenty of clients doing this and uh, he runs a video editing agency. In fact, I might link his email down below if any of you guys wanna apply. He's always looking for new editors. So he's got a little trial test thing. And if you get tapped in with him, he's got a few videos a week minimum for you. So I'll leave his email down below actually. I'll make sure I remember. Remind me in the comments if I don't. Finally! The mystery one. This is the one that you can actually generate passive income from. Personally, this is how I rent equipment when I go to shoots. Number five is fatlama.com. This is a uh, independent equipment rental website. Now, what you can do is, uh, well, it's a whole bunch of just equipment being rented. So if you have loads of equipment, for example, I got this fucking light right here. I got this fucking ring light right here. I got a fucking camera right there, right? You know, if you're, if you're a pretty active creator, you might have some equipment laying around, a nice expensive camera, maybe some nice, you know, fucking lenses, something like that, right? Co co conveniently, I have all this stuff in my, <laughs> in my reach. But um, if you have significant amount of equipment, you could go to fatlama.com, list that equipment, and you can make passive income where once, twice a week, maybe like a few times a month or whatever, someone will hit you up and they'll be in your area and they'll want to rent that piece of equipment depending on the demand that the piece of equipment has. And you can generate passive income. I personally, whenever I need a second camera for a product, uh, for a, what's called a client shoot or something like that, for example, I was shooting at the Blue Studios the other week, um, the other month at this point, actually, it was like a good month ago. Um, and, you know, two camera setup. They wanted two cameras, they wanted two angles. I got one camera, rented another one on fatlama.com. Some dude made passive income for me. He's just going about his day, gets a notification that says, Jack Cole's rented your camera. He's gonna turn up tomorrow at 10 a.m. to pick it up. The money hits his bank account. He just waits at home till 10 a.m. I come, oh, hey, Jack, here's the camera. Get it back to me tomorrow morning. And he's just made passive income. I've rented his camera. I've gone off and used it. My good friend Noah, who I started uh, TQ9 Media with, he rented his camera for quite a while on fatlama.com. I think he had a Canon GH5. They'd give him like 70 quid for the day to, to come grab it. If, if he's not using that camera that day, to make 70 quid for just handing a camera to somebody at your door, they come to your house, right? Bit of a win, to be honest. Like, you know what I mean? That's a bit of a win in my, in my opinion. I'm sure it is uh, in your opinion as well. In fact, if you know about LinkUp TV, LinkUp TV is a massive, uh, 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 what's called like, like GRM Daily, SBTV type of a world star hip hop community rap channel. Um, they've literally had fucking Drake on there. Like they're a big, big deal in the UK. If you're not from the UK, check it out, LinkUp TV. The guy who owns LinkUp TV, one of the most respected uh, rap channels, grime channels in the whole of England, 
turned up at Noah's house, rented a camera, paid him 70 quid. And, uh, you know, he made that connection. I think they traded details. I don't think anything came of it, but the possibility of Noah getting work with one of the, you know, really reputable guy in our country came about through Fat Llama. So pretty reputable people use this shit. And um, I was kind of surprised that the main man who runs that channel was turning up, picking up the equipment himself. But that shows the hustle. That's why he's there. <laughs> Anyways, that's the fucking game right there, guys. All of these are bangers. I got links in the description to every single one of them. Also, link in the description to the Paid Lancer merch. If you guys have been, you know, if you guys have taken any benefit from my channel at all, like you've actually generated income, I'd appreciate if you grabbed a piece of clothing. We got five different designs. For creators, by creators, thank you guys for tuning in. Fuck me, it feels good to be back. I'm sorry I took a break, um, but the game's the game, right? Sometimes you gotta recharge, you gotta come back with some new fucking energy, and boom, brand new video, banged it out. 2021, we got at least two videos a week coming out. Also, I wanna give a shout out to Out The Box. Luke is my new editor, by the way. Bang up a, a fucking screenshot of Out The Box on the screen, have it zoom in. That's the review channel. We're going hard as fuck on the review channel, and uh, you can expect a lot of videos there as well. Overall, guys, 2021, I want to wish you guys an awesome year. Let's fucking smash it. I know it's been crazy with Corona, but we all work inside, so we can make this shit happen fucking regardless, all right? Let's get hustling. Let's get moving. Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace!